All right, happy Monday, guys. And I know last night in my Aldi's haul, um, many of you said that you wanted to see me can um, my mushrooms. I'm gonna take little snippets. This definitely is gonna be like a how-to, although, you know, or I should say more like a how I do. But I'm gonna try to take as many snippets as, you, as I can for you guys. Um, <laughs> filming is quite difficult, especially on a homeschool day. I literally, when I do a canning session, it gets kind of, kind of squeezed into what I'm doing already around the house. So, um, filming, taking out the camera, getting out the tripod, doing all the things <laughs> is usually a lot. So, um, I don't know how much I'll be able to include in this for you, but, um, I promise you when I have the time to dedicate to, um, to filming a a proper video I will for you guys. All right, so this is what I'm gonna do really quickly. I'm filling up a um, stainless steel bowl with cold water, and I'm going to be dropping my mushrooms into it, okay? And I'm gonna time these. I'm gonna let them sit here for 10 minutes and soak, and um, pretty much get cleaned up. We are gonna rinse these. Okay. I bought these mushrooms at Aldi's at what I saw was a really, a really good price. Um, and I go through a lot of mushrooms. I use mushrooms a lot in my cooking. Um, Matt and the kids love them. So this is just another way to have it up on my shelf. You're welcome, my love. All right, so I'm just gonna tap that off with water. And then we're gonna get another bowl going here. And then we're gonna go ahead and fill up another bowl. All right, I'm just gonna let that sit. I'm gonna time these for 10 minutes. I'm gonna kind of, um, you know, kind of turn them just so that it gets out a lot of whatever dirt might be in these mushrooms and get them all nice and cleaned up. Okay, after 10 minutes, we're gonna go ahead and drain these. Okay, then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take them and I'm gonna plop them right in And then I'm gonna go ahead and strain the other bowl. And then we're gonna go ahead and add that to my pot. Okay, so you guys can see how much I have. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and and add some cool water to this. I'm gonna put it on my on my stove top and I'm gonna bring this up to a boil and once it reaches a boil, I'm gonna boil these for five minutes. All right, I'm gonna cook them down a little bit, condense them a little bit, and I'll be able to fit more in my jars and I shouldn't have a floating problem. <laughs> Can't stand when the food floats in the jars. All right. I'm gonna just fill this up until they're nice and soak down there. All right, in the meantime, what I'm gonna do here is fill this up with some cold water. And I am using, actually I'm using two different kinds. Onion soup mix. I've got a Lipton one, and I do have a great value, uh, one oddball <laughs> left sitting in my pantry cabinet. I'm going to be using four envelopes, and I'm going to make a broth. Instead of canning my mushrooms in water, I'm going to can them in some onion soup mix, which will give them a really, not only a very pretty look, but a very nice flavor. And this is something that if I was going to use mushrooms um, in any dish from, you know, Alfredo sauce to Salisbury steak 
um, beef and gravy, anything, the onion soup mix will be perfect for it. So, so I have my onion broth there brought to a boil. I have my jars in a hot soapy sink with really hot water. I will, because they're so hot in there, I will rinse them off and fill them as we go. And then over here, I have my uh, mushrooms boiling. And back there, I have my lids and rings being brought to a simmer. And now I'm going to bring out my All-American and um, get her ready to go. I am going to go ahead and this pot is a bit too heavy for me, especially with boiled water in it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to ladle my mushrooms right into the strainer and get them strained out. All right, now that they're all strained, I'm going to use hot water. And again, I'm just going to give them a quick rinse down. I have my mushrooms ready to go. I have my broth. Oh, there you go. <laughs> ready to go. Um, my canner has is full of, of very hot water. My lids and rings are over there at a simmer. And we're ready to uh, get right, cracked. So everything is ready here. And my jars are hot. They just came out of hot water. So uh, you want to make sure your jars are nice and hot. And we're going to get going here. So hopefully you can see that. <laughs> as I have kind of a production set up here. So we're gonna fill these up to one inch head space, all right? And then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add my onion soup. And then we're gonna use our pokey joe. You definitely wanna debubble these gently. Get all of that air out of them. And then, so hopefully you guys can see a little bit better. I've got vinegar, half vinegar, half water here. All right. Gonna clean our rims. And we're gonna go ahead and add whoo, a lid. And be careful because everything is piping hot. Right, and there we go. A beautiful jar of mushrooms in onion onion soup mix, actually, like an onion broth. So we're gonna put that in now. I'm doing half pints because this is roughly about the size of the can that we use when I um. I use it in a meal. You know, if I have to use two, then I can use two, but I'd rather not waste any by canning these in pints. So, go ahead and add our broth and pokey joe it. I got that saying from Mouse Toes. <laughs> you haven't checked out Mouse Toes. Here on YouTube, go check her out. I will leave her link in a card up above. One of my favorite canning YouTubers. And then. Okay. Then we have whoop, jar. Number two. Beautiful. All right. I'm going to keep going here and see how many little half pints I can do. Now, you'll still be doing half pints the same time as you do pints, which is 45 minutes. Okay. It's only recommended that you do half pints or pints, not quarts. You cannot do quarts of mushrooms. It's a density issue. Okay. We got our 
hot jar. Good one. My jars are always clean, but I always like to give them a fresh cleaning right before I use them. I don't know. It's just me. And for those who just don't understand canning or understand the, or grasp the concept of canning or building a pantry, <laughs> I can't help you. <laughs> My channel is not the channel for you. That's all I have to say. There we go. Okay, jar number three. In she goes. And then start getting a nice assembly line here. Very, very rewarding this whole process for me. Maybe not for everybody, but for me. And this is my channel, so it's about me, right? <laughs> I would just suggest that if this bothers you, maybe just go go live your life go go watch something that brings you joy don't bring don't watch people that just make you angry and bitter and really haters my bitters my bitter biscuits do something that brings you joy life is too short my my mother's sudden death taught me that. Life is too short. Do what makes you happy. Do what brings you joy. And if hating on other people brings you joy, then I'm so, I feel so sorry for you. I really do. Like, my heart breaks for you. Because you only get one time around. That's it. Make it count. Bring happiness to others, not misery. Okay? There we go. There we go. Look at that. And this brings me joy. <laughs> Sharing this process with you guys brings me joy. Now, I did grab a bit of a bigger um, jar. So we're going to try that too. Just in case there's a night I need a little extra mushroom and I don't want to open up two jars of a little extra. Okay. Get some broth in this. And then Pokey Joe you. <laughs> Makes me laugh. All right. Okay, a little over full here. Bring it down, bring it down. Just a notch. I'm gonna take out a big guy there. We'll use him in the next one. Okay. keep on going on then I will bring you back and show you just how many jars I get in my canner okay just to show you I have one layer I'm gonna go ahead and put my rack in and we're gonna build up a second layer all right now okay there's my second layer all right so I'm gonna put the lid on this and we are going to get this going here. Okay, I'm going to make sure my lid is perfect all the way around. That will get easier over time. The more you do this, we're going to lock this down very lightly. I do not want to. 
disturb the lid at all. And then, then we crank it evenly all the way around, opposite ends, opposite ends, opposite ends, until it's all nice and secure. Make sure it's on your stove, nice and even. And then we're gonna crank this up to a high heat. And uh, once I start seeing vent stream from there, this is something that those electric cookers, those electric uh, pressure cookers slash canners does not do. They do not vent the air out of the machine, which is why I would not use one of those to can any low acid food. Um, very important step not to miss. So when that steam starts coming out a full steady stream, not little sputters, but a full steady stream, we will set our timer for 10 minutes and we will get all the air out of this canner. And then we'll be able to put the weight on, bring it up to temp, and uh, and start processing these uh, beautiful mushrooms. All right, I will bring you back when this baby starts steaming. And by the way, I have lots of broth left, so that will probably be canned right after my mushroom. All right, so we are getting there with a nice steady stream. You can see that. So we are gonna go ahead and I'm going to set this for 10 minutes, eh, 11. So add an extra minute for good right, measure. So our timer went off, so we're gonna go ahead and on our weight, with the 10 pound pressure, we're gonna just put that on top. Oh. <laughs> there you go. All right, put it on top like that. And um, now we're gonna wait for this to come up to pressure. Um, we are sitting at about, about three pounds right now. So we will see, oh, maybe four, we're getting there. Anyway, once this gets up to pressure, I will bring you back, we'll start the timer. I'll get it programmed now for 45 minutes. All right. We are at pressure, so now I'm going to turn this down. I've got a, a sweet spot marked on my um, dial that my canner likes to run really well at because you really only want that to jiggle one to four times a minute. Not any more than that. Not any, definitely not any less than that. So I have a little sweet spot on my stove that I've figured out. <laughs> And so I'm going to turn it down, and um, you'll see it'll start slowing down now. And we will keep this. My canner likes to run at 11 pounds of pressure. And we're going to do this. We're going to go ahead and start our timer. And uh, I'll bring you back in 45 minutes when this is All done. Right. Time to turn this on. And we'll let it come down off of pressure now, which will probably take about mm, a half hour, 45 minutes or so. We'll see how it goes. Um, I'll bring you back <laughs> when um, when we're ready to take the lid off. My canner has come down. I'm going to remove my weight. I'm going to just let that. It's always a little bit of pressure that'll come off. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start loosening up my bolts here. And now. Um, it's cold. It's cold here in Michigan State. It's actually snowing. So even though my house is, um, you know, I've got the fireplace going in. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to crack the lid. So to avoid as much evacuation as possible and siphoning, um, which is, you know, where the liquid drops in your jars below that one inch head space, you really want to control uh, your temperature, okay, of your jars and how quickly they come to a room temperature here. All right, so I'm gonna crack that and I'm just gonna let my canner kind of breathe a little bit. I'll show you inside. And there's my mushrooms in their onion broth. Oh, they look beautiful. So I'm just gonna let them sit like that for about 10 minutes or so maybe 15 minutes, and then we will bring them out. I already have a cookie sheet lined with 
you know, I've got these at the dollar store. These are just those drying mats, uh, but they're perfect for cookie sheets. That way I can just kind of carry it over to the to the um, breakfast bar, let them, let them cool. I'll bring them back to the sink tomorrow and wash them up. Um, check the seals, label them, and then get them on my uh, pantry shelf. But it's just easier to carry them up and down the stairs on a cookie sheet like this. So, um, this will wait for them when we pull them out of the canner. So I'll be back in about 15, 20 minutes or so, give or take. <laughs> All right, so we are gonna pull these jars out of the canner now. Take the lid off. And we will take a look at them together. Hard water. <laughs> I forgot to dump my vinegar in uh, in the canner when I was done using it. So that's all right. Those will wash out beautifully. And if you can see the headspace on those are beautiful. So the key really is to bring your jars up you know well bring your jars down I should say um, to room temperature gradually you don't want to do it too long of course you don't want them sitting in the canner too long um, but you guys will see how hard my water is <laughs> well water well water the headspace on that is beautiful. Okay. Note to self, don't forget to put the vinegar in the water again. <laughs> All right. There you have it, home can mushrooms, and as you can see, the headspace is spot on. One inch looks like on all of them, so I didn't have any evacuation problems of the broth. So. There you go, guys. There you have it. So I was able to get uh, a dozen half pints. And then... <laughs> two of the larger jars there. Um, but absolutely beautiful. And I can't wait to get these beauties <laughs> washed up. <laughs> labeled and put on my pantry shelf come tomorrow. So mushrooms really are pretty easy to do. Uh, there's a couple of extra steps you have to do just to make sure that they're clean and they're prepped uh, properly. But other than that, that's it. They're super easy to can. So I hope you give this a try. <laughs> Let me know if you do. Sorry for the screaming, guys. Uh, it's exciting. Mina is done homeschooling. I have to go down now and work with Mason. Um, so busy day, then gotta start on dinner. All right, guys. <laughs> Bye. I'll, I'll, I'll be seeing you soon. <laughs>